Hey guys, this is Zach Libby with Wolverine.com. We're back with another signee spotlight. With us is four-star defensive back Jacob Odin out of Harper Woods. Uh, Jacob just won a state title in late November and is coming off an All-American Bowl appearance in Frisco, Texas. Jacob, just right now, how, you, how does it feel to be a Michigan Wolverine? I mean, it's a dream come true. I mean, I've been dreaming about this. I've been seeing guys go through that program. And now it's my turn. It's a dream come true. That's all I can say. You committed in February. You've been locked in ever since. Just what did how, what did you think about Michigan, and what did Michigan make you feel in terms of just having it be a home for you? I mean, it's family. It's family oriented. It's just like leaving high school, going to college. Like it's family oriented. So that's the biggest thing that made me feel comfortable. Made it feel at home. Everybody welcomed me in, open arms. So. I can't wait to actually get up there and get to work. You are one of the many that are early enrolling. Just what do you think the benefits are for you to early enroll, and what do you hope to get out of it? I mean, I'll get in the playbook early. I'll get the physical games, get to see how it's like playing against those guys, and then i get in school early too, so i get my classes done, get everything done, get everything handled. Uh, for those who don't know, Harper Woods is about 45 minutes away from Ann Arbor. Just the opportunity to represent your home state, but also Southeast Michigan, just what does that mean for you too? I mean, hometown hero. That's what I put in when I committed. I, I can't wait to represent my uh, city, my state, everything. So I can't wait to get up there, get to work, and then show everybody what I can do. Uh, Co-defensive coordinator, defensive backs coach Steve Klingsfield made you a top priority as soon as you got to Michigan. Just how's your relationship for him with him, and how far do you guys go back? I, I couldn't even tell you. I couldn't even remember. My dad used to take me on his little visit trips with the other recruits and junk when I was, like, three years old. And then Coach Klink would be a coach at the school. So he, he, he'd he been knowing me since I was a youngin', really. And I just started getting to know him better in, like, 7th, seventh, 8th seventh, grade. He offered me an 8th grade. Um, and then when he got to Michigan, I earned another offer. So me and Klink, real tight. That's basically an uncle to me. Uh, defense coordinator, Jesse Mentor, too, played a key role in your recruitment. Just the excitement to learn under him and just what do you think of his philosophies and schemes? He's that guy. Jesse, the coach Mentor is really – He's a really intellectual individual. He knows his stuff. He, he gets down. Um, he, he can teach me a lot. That's why I can't wait to get up to talk to him. He can teach me a lot. And then other coaches like Coach Mal, they can also teach me a lot. Uh, head coach Jim Harbaugh, you know, you've, you've said his praises for a long time. Just the opportunity to work under him and under his program, just what's your excitement level with that? I mean, everybody knows who Coach Harbaugh is. Everybody knows how he is. He, he never changes. He's ne not changing for nobody. I can't wait to actually – be a part of the team. That's what I, that's the main thing. I can't wait to be a part of that team and be a part of that family. What's the excitement level of working under strength and conditioning coach Ben Herbert? Oh my, everybody say praise about her and getting big and strong, faster, doing everything. And then every time I go up there, they give us that little presentation and it never surprised me. Like coach her, I can ask him anything. I've been asking him like tips and tricks for high school while I'm here. So coach her, I know he got me. I know he gonna handle it all the recruits, everybody coming up there. Now, you've been recruited to play in Michigan secondary. Just from this season, you know, guys like Will Johnson, Rob Moore, Josh Walsh, just what have you seen from those guys? Ball, they ball hawks. Like, I feel like they could be up for some awards, but, you know, it's Michigan versus everybody. Like, Mikey Sanders still should be a Jim Thorpe Award guy, but, you know, I feel like everybody, everybody in that defensive backfield got that type of quality. Everybody playing great, um, especially when they get healthy for this next game. It's going to be on. Now you are, you know, based on your attributes and abilities that, again, led Harper Woods to a state title, just how do you think you would fit best in that secondary? I feel like I got the type to fit good because I can play man, I'm intellectual, and I can play zone. So I'm an all-around ball player, and they teach versatility. Everybody play everything. You see Will in the nickel, Mikey at corner, um, our, our corners at safety. You see all that. So I feel like my versatility helped me play in that defense. Now, speaking of Will, him and guys like Diamond Edwards and Samaj Morgan are part of Sound Mind, Sound Body, a local organization, you know, a year-round training facility around here. Um, you are a part of that, too. Just what's the excitement level of just, you know, being that next one in line to represent Sound Mind, Sound Body in Michigan? I mean, I've been with Sound Mind, Sound Body my whole life, so getting to represent them on the next level is a thing that they trained me to do, they prepared me to do everything, and I, didn't, I can't wait to get up there with those guys, get to work with them again. 
you know, this off season too, you know, you're one of those older guys on the seven on second, seven on seven circuit with them. And, you know, there's guys younger than you who have offers from Michigan. Just what do you tell those guys about, you know, representing your home state and, you know, the opportunity to play uh, big time college football right down the road? I mean, the opportunity is unlimited here, especially at Michigan, the biggest fan, biggest brand, biggest fan base, biggest everything. So the opportunity playing for your hometown, especially is great. Like You, you build connections that it's crazy. So that's what I like to tell guys. Now, Jeremiah Beasley, he's one of the 2024 commits in the class. Uh, he is a sound mind, sound body kid. You guys have known each other for years. Just how's your relationship with him and, you know, knowing that you guys are going to be with each other for years to come? I mean, that's me and Jeremiah have been locked in since the fourth grade. So that's my guy. Nothing's ever going to change. Um, I can't wait to play with him on the next level. Um, there are over 20 commits, right, to commits and signees in this 2024 class. Just how's your relationship with all of them? Because I know you guys have a really close bond. Just how are you guys connecting so well? I mean, you can see on social media along with that. We, we real close. Like, I feel like we talk every day in our little group chat. We got close really the OV weekend. That's when we really bonded and got together and got close. So ever since then, we just been a fan. Now, you are one of three signees who ended up – Playing in the All American Bowl, just what, how, what, how, what does it mean for you to be an All American, and what does it mean to just have that title? It means everything, especially since my dad has produced three All Americans. Me, me being one of them, um, tradition never graduates, and I just can't wait to get up there and compete. Now, what about playing at Ford Field? You know, I know you said before you're going to get your ring, maybe sometime in March. Just how does it feel knowing that you are a state champion too? Us. Still sometimes can't believe it. it. It feels just like a dream. It feels just like a dream. Everything I imagined came came true and happened. So I just, I still can't believe it. It's crazy. Now, as you enter Michigan's program, what should Michigan fans know about you off the field? Like what kind of things you do for fun that aren't football related when you're not watching film or lifting? Like what, what's, what makes you you? I like to watch, I'm a movie guy. I like to watch movies, TV shows. That's what I really like to do. Binge, binge everything. So. I'm really into Marvel, um, stuff like that, documentaries, any, really anything. I'm into everything, so that's one thing I like to do off the field. Now, with the recruiting process officially over, too, just what did you learn about yourself during that, and what advice would you have for younger c recruits, and what kind of things that fans should know about the recruiting process that maybe they don't know yet? I would say to younger guys, you don't got to make everybody happy. Um, some guys, they just want to – offer you just to have you on the board like some some of these coaches don't even care about who you are as a person um take your time with it even though i know it gets a little irritated sometimes take your time with it and then to be you i mean hard work never stops just keep working even though if you get like heavily recruited and then i would say fans really don't they don't know like what happens behind the scenes with the recruit they just know like what's on the surface what's on social media so don't be quick to judge a player or something about something you see off social media and then final question for me what should michigan fans expect for you once you get hit the field like what are your expectations for yourself as well i expect to be dominant explosive and just make plays i expect to be i want to be on the field early and i just want to work hard and represent my program my home with